Global supply chains are facing disruption and uncertainty, leading organizations to grapple with rising costs, resilience concerns and net zero priorities. PwC is encouraging its clients to adopt a new approach, advocating the integration of human-led and tech-powered solutions for improved and better outcomes. Historically, consumers and organizations have been able to access the materials, products and services they want, when and how they want them. But those things that have felt stable for some time are now increasingly disrupted or out of their control. In response, organizations are having to change how they think about their supply chains. PwC is helping leading companies transform how they operate, combining technology, data and insight to help them make smarter decisions and overcome these challenges. There's two very clear dynamics in place. The first one is around this concept of availability that historically has been driven, I think, just by price. We've seen a whole portfolio of events from Ukraine through to Brexit, through to issues in the Suez Canal, all of which have disrupted availability of core components. The second point then is, of course, that within your own supply chain, you need to have a far more detailed and forensic lens so that you've got a level of transparency in order to inform those decisions. We are looking at organisational health from a financial perspective, from an ESG perspective, what are your emissions? We're also looking at whether you're sanctioned, or whether you're likely to be sanctioned. Most organisations that I've talked to in the past two or three years have felt some sort of shock to the system that has been predicated by a supply chain event. That has changed the psychology of, of most organisations into realising that this is no longer a sideshow that you might touch on as part of your organisational planning or broader enterprise strategy. It is a fundamental core component of your business and organisations need to change the way they think about what supply chain means to them. Data-driven insights and powerful new technologies will deliver results, but genuine transformation requires organisations to embrace new ways of working and thinking. Availability is about how can you better work with your suppliers in partnership. It's about cross-functional business units coming together to solve the challenge. It isn't going to be solely the responsibility of procurement, no less supply chain, no less your um, finance function. It really is about everyone working together to ensure that you have that business continuity and ultimate resilience. Technology is a huge part of business transformation at the moment. It enables our people to make better decisions um, and really the heart of that is data, good data, um, to enable you to make robust decisions but also to have visibility, whether that's cost, whether that's your suppliers, your contract terms. You know, a lot of that needs to be housed somewhere and it needs to be governed effectively in order to make those decisions. It's not really about the technology itself, it's about what it's enabling you to do. An accelerating move to digital solutions, organisations are increasingly reliant on third-party relationships for success, and nowhere is this more pronounced than in the financial services sector. For the clients, it's become really important for them to understand the importance of third parties for them achieving their organisational strategy. If you don't have a robust third party risk management value, you can't create value for the organisation. You can't meet the strategy, you can't move towards your digital economy and the role that you want to play in that. It's really for organisations to think about how they deliver services. You really need to understand you know, the data, the technology, the people, the property and the third parties that it takes to deliver that service. But historically, those have been considered in silo. So for many organisations, in order to become more resilient, they've been trying to map this. One of the key steps they have to do is to identify inherent risk. What is our appetite to outsource in these services and what would happen if there was a defect or failure? While such a multifaceted challenge may appear overwhelming, it's important for businesses to take action even incremental changes can start to deliver results. When I advise clients, I think of it as physical resilience versus the digital resilience. And when you bring the two together, you get a very powerful combination. Something I'm very passionate about, which I refer to as the roadmap to an AI-driven supply chain. Um, it's not a journey and it's not an instant instance either, but it's a, it's a gradual sort of inter, 
intermittent approach of organizations looking at what they can actually systemize so as they can you know, start to make better decisions and start to um, process and accelerate faster. Um, how can they become more digitized from a data perspective so they're not now going to pieces of paper to find information, but everybody's sharing in to the same information domain to make decisions for the global organization. We're moving from that sort of resilience phase of things into understanding availability a lot more and how therefore organizations need to position to, to, to work with it.